Hi, my name's Graham Green and I'm the General Manager and the PJ Professional here at the Leaderboard Golf Centre in Reading. And today I'm going to do a product review for Mizuno's new model, the JPX 825 Pro. Now this golf club is like the MP series, is made with 1025 soft carbon steel. However, unlike the MP range, it has a high core face. That means that this model will hit the ball much further than any of the MP um, Ranger golf clubs. If we look at the back here, you'll see that Mizuno have got this CNC cavity pocket. Now what they claim is that on the four to seven iron, it's much easier to launch the ball and it's also much more forgiving. Mizuno have also made this with a nice finish. It's a, it's a double plated chrome finish, gives a really nice um, anti-glare on the ball and a nice durable finish too. If we come and look at the sole, it's made with triple cut sole and what that does in Mizuno's opinion is make shot making much more versatile. So I'm going to have a go, cast my own opinion and see how we get on. So let's concentrate on the look of this golf club to start off with. And when you look at it from the back, it looks pretty slick. It's got a nice um, insert on the back, very appealing on the shelf. But when you put it down, I must say it's a little bit disappointing. It's a bit old hat. It looks like some of the older JPX versions. Uh, in fact, some of the old Mizuno MX um, golf clubs, it's very similar um, to those. So there's nothing outstanding about the look of the golf club. I would say a little bit old school. Um, it's none offensive, but it's not particularly inspiring. So when you look at the, take it, the count on the looks, I'd give it a seven out of 10. When we come now to the forgiveness, it is definitely slightly more forgiving than the MP range, although it's not massively forgiving. Um, certainly compared to the JPX 825 standard model, it's got a lot less forgiveness. And I was a little bit torn between whether there was a place for this really. I got on really well with the MP Golf Club and I actually hit the JPX 825 model really well. And I must say that this Pro version, for me, just sat in a bit of no man's place. So it was okay. Forgiveness, I'd probably give it again 7 out of 10. When we come on to the feel, very good. Again, you'd expect that. It's 1025 soft carbon steel. It does give that nice soft but solid feedback. Um, and again, I'll give that nine out of 10. When we talk about the overall grade, I mean, like I say, for me, it was the fact that it's a little bit old school, a little bit old hat. It feels like it may have been around 10 years ago, this club, other than the badge in the back of it, really. Um, I'd give the overall grade to this 7 out of 10. It's a nice golf club, none offensive, but not particularly inspiring. When we talk about adjustability, um, of course you can get this fully custom fitted, loft angle, lie angle, different shaft options, different grip options. And what I'd advise everybody to do from this point is to go down to see your local PJ professional, get yourself on the Mizuno DNA shaft optimizer, go through their full fitting and see which of the Mizuno models and which of the um, custom fit options come out best for you. 